going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. So uh, they laughed at me. Who laughed at you? Probably some of y'all. Because y'all don't understand the workings of an old truck. But they laughed at me. The, the previous company I was leased to, the reefer company, when uh, I'll just tell you the story. When I was, um, when I leased on to them, they pulled the truck in the shop for, you know, their inspection. Um, you know, they, you can hear the comments. Oh, man, this guy's truck, man. You, you, you sure we want to put this thing on? Stuff like that. Now, mind you, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. The truck is a 1990 Kenworth W9 with a mechanical engine. When I say mechanical, it does not have any electronics running the, the engine. I mean, it's, it's just old school. Um, very reliable engine. I'll say that. And, you know, these guys are laughing and stuff and hey, it makes no difference to me. So, you know, some time goes on. Now, mind you, I'm running loads for them. Five, six hundred miles, you know, out and back, out and back, gone. And, and they see me. So, you know, they see me coming in the yard, dropping trailers, sleep overnight, and I'm off again or something like that. So I take my, you know, I'll, I'll schedule some maintenance, you know, get you new know, brake shoes put on or maybe a service or something like that. And I'll, you know, go into, or maybe I'll go into the shop to get something, talk to the uh, the shop guy. And, uh, you know, he's like, your truck is uh, pretty reliable, I said, mm-hmm. I said, uh, he said, you don't have no trouble with it? Nope. Oh. Then come to find out that, uh, the, now, they have, they run freight liners. They run, I don't know what years they are. To, I don't even want to make a speculation. They run freight liner. I don't even know what models they are. Um, same model everybody else runs. And they said, yeah, these, these guys' truck, there's always something going there's always something going on with these these trucks you know they rattle themselves apart or something and said one of the big issues that they were having was they leak oil into the air compressor um the uh, i guess the air compressor you know for the system and you know shooting oil out everywhere and stuff like that so i don't know man i don't have that problem so i just let him go ahead and talk so when i finally left there he's like man I think you got a good deal when you got that truck. I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> but, you know, and I said all that to say that you'll get people that will tell you that you need to have brand new equipment. You need to have, you need to be, you need to be buying every, all the equipment that everybody else is buying. That may be true for you, but. For me, that's not true. You know, I, I do just fine with my 1990 Kenworth. Um, is it a show truck? No. Is it a piece of junk? No. I mean, it's a work truck. I mean, it's a 1990, so obviously some, it's not as, it's not as tight, you know, as um, like a newer truck. And as of right now, I'm not putting a bunch of money into the cosmetics of it. So, uh, and honestly, I don't want to work that hard. <laughs> but um, I'll just throw that out there, you know, just to, to start some YouTube drama, get them going. But <laughs> but um, the, the the purpose of this video was, it's, at the title of this vi or the uh, topic of this video was, I got a question asking about, If you have an old, quit, older, older truck, what companies can you lease on to? Um, because I know that's going to be a, be an issue. Well, first you have to figure out what you want to do. Um, now I will say that I don't see too many. I'm not saying that they don't exist, but I'm not seeing too many older trucks run like trucks my age running uh, reefers. Mm, excuse me. I don't see too many uh, trucks my age running reefer. Uh, there's a few out there, but <clears throat> as far as leased onto a company, I, me personally, I don't see too many. Now, I see a lot of flatbed guys with older trucks. I see a lot of hopper guys with older trucks. I see a lot of uh, dump trailer guys with older trucks. I see a lot of logging trucks uh, in the logging uh, industry with older trucks. Um, a lot of farm agriculture with older trucks. 
<clears throat> so you have to figure out what you want to do and then reverse engineer that and work backwards to find out, you know, um, what companies will take you on, will lease you on, you know, with the older equipment. I can tell you that you can go to Craigslist and in the job, uh, let's say first pick a city, go to Craigslist, pick a city, let's say uh, Columbus, Ohio. You go to Columbus, then you put in, um, go to jobs, then out of jobs, you go to transport. And then in the search bar, in, in the transport section, what you can do is you can put in owner. Now that will give you a list of mostly owner operator companies, you know, looking for uh, a list of companies that are looking for owner operators. Now you have to weed, uh, sift through them to find out one with the, the verbiage that you're looking for. Now what you're looking for is any age equipment, obviously, uh, maybe paper logs, um, and those, those are pretty much the only two. Um, those are pretty much the only two. So, you know, you can start in your city and branch out. It doesn't necessarily have to be your city. Uh, another way that you can look is, um, oh, with the search engine, you can put in paper logs or you can put in, um, any age equipment or just any age, uh, don't. Don't get too specific if you want to. I mean, you can, but try to keep it generic. Um, you can try that. You can also see the trucks that are running around wherever you're at. Um, you see older equipment. You know, older. You know, if the truck looks older, you know, grab the name off the side of the door. You see if he's uh, independent or maybe he's leased on somewhere. You can, you know, you get the contact information, get the MC number. Uh, look it up online, call the company up, see if they have any ads running or so on and so forth. Um, you can do that. Um, mega carriers are not going to want older trucks, uh, except for one. <laughs> the one that I'm leased to. They will take one. Um, but generally, mega carriers do not want older trucks. You know, They want something newer. Um, what else can I tell you? Um... That's pretty much it. I mean, they're out there. And I'll tell you, I'll, I'll leave you with this. Before I went into flatbed, I was doing, I would say, I was looking into flatbed for like a year. I was, you know, researching rates and doing, uh, talking to different companies and things like that. And I was thinking about going over to Mercer. And at the time, I'm not sure. I, I was talking for them for like a couple months. Um uh, and I'm not sure. I think at the time they accepted me, but then they changed the rules and said, well, you can have any age truck, but it has to have an electronic motor. Well, that's, I, I don't have an electronic motor, nothing to plug into, so that eliminate me. I think Landstar was the same, but people said, no, I don't go to Landstar. For whatever reason, don't know, don't know nothing about them before, you know, you get the, the Landstar people on here. Um, don't know nothing about them, but there were some other companies that I was going to go to, but did not, didn't have any flatbed experience. And they said, well, we don't train for flatbed. You got to have your own experience and blah, blah, blah. We don't have a training program. Okay. Not a problem. I'll figure it out. So, but, um, figure out what you want to do. You know, um, I don't know any companies off the top of my head. Um, but you'll, you'll do all right. Just, uh, go to Craigslist, other publications other websites um another website is a trucker's report you can go on there you can uh do a search engine and i hate to say it even some facebook groups you can join these some of these facebook groups um and just put out hey i have a 1999 or 2000 truck or whatever uh what company can i lease on to in this particular sector um, and you'll get some feedback. You'll, you'll probably get, uh, mom and pop companies, which is that's, that's the way that I would recommend going. Forget these, uh, major carriers, mega carriers, you know, these big guys, uh, go with the small and pop mom and pop companies. Um, that's all for this one. We hope to see you in the next one. And, uh, have a good day.